So what's it going to take for you to tell the real story of American agriculture, to stand up and speak out? Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Payne Knoper in Indiana, proud farm girl. And before we get to some of the reasons about why you need to speak out, I thought maybe we'd start a little bit of a different route. And I'd like to give you top 10 reasons about why not to speak out. Reason number 10, agriculture has little impact on the American economy. And after all, it's an economy that's thriving today. With 80% of our economy not relying on the agri-food system, does it really matter? Reason number nine, it's easy to consider that this really has no bottom line impact. It's really just a bunch of public relations fluff after all, isn't it? Whether it's finding workers on your farm or perhaps it's local regulations, none of this really costs the American farmer anything. Number eight, you enjoy having others regulate how you farm. After all, they best know how to take care of the land and animals rather than you, whether it's the federal government, state government, or activists. Reason number seven, hormones and food make everyone love you, really love you. Enough said. Reason number six, people know where their food comes from. After all, it's all those factories. Whether it's a factory farm in western Minnesota or a factory in Minneapolis, the truth is, is food comes from factories, right? Reason number five, why teach kids to stand up for what's right? After all, it doesn't really matter. Let people say what they're going to say because they're going to anyhow, so why bother? Reason number four, because technology today makes it so difficult to be able to share agriculture story. Whether it's GPS, auto steer, a smartphone, or Facebook, or the combination thereof, it makes it really inefficient to be able to share your story. Reason number three, environmentalists in the land of 10,000 lakes, and they love what you do. Consider this, 10 environmentalists for every lake. That's not really a major influence, is it? Reason number two, biotechnology, that great tool that you think you have, well, it's going to make you grow a microphone in your ear. So you don't even have to worry about speaking out because that microphone will be able to control, convey each of your thoughts. Reason number one, because people have learned all they ever need to know about farming from the Humane Society of the United States, Farm Sanctuary, Sierra Club, and Greenpeace. So there's no need to speak out. Okay, so that was a very sarcastic look at reasons why you shouldn't speak out. In all seriousness, I believe that your opportunity to control your future in agriculture is directly reliant on your ability to tell the real story about what's happening, whether you're farmers in Minnesota, Michigan, Indiana, or California. The reality that we have to face in today's agriculture is that only 1.5% of our population is on a farm. That makes what you do a novelty. So I would encourage you to understand that as you reach out and you share some of the great messages that you've learned today from Minnesota Soybean and Minnesota Farm Bureau, that you really consider how you can integrate the economic impact that you have in your local community into your messages how you can share stories about your family and the family values that you are operating with on your family farm. And by the way, please make a point when you talk with them and let them know that the vast majority of farms today are still family farms. And while those family farms may look very different than a family farm in the 1950s and 1960s, their doctor's office and their school system also looks very different. So agriculture has progressed in order to feed a population that's expected to double by 2050. The bigger question is, is will you be able to farm as you best see fit in the future to care for your land and care for your animals as you know how based upon your experience? I happen to believe as a professional speaker who works all across this country with food and farm groups that you control that in your own hands and you control that directly by your ability to reach out not only in your own zip code but also going into new places like Facebook and yes even Twitter 
And considering how you can reach some of the 550 million people on Facebook that consider what you do to be a novelty. So again, please stand up and speak out to tell the real story because if you don't, you need to know that people are happy to have that conversation for you. People who have no right to be speaking about American agriculture, yet they are believed by the public. And as you stand up and speak out, I would encourage you to continue turning to the different resources that are offered by the Minnesota Soybean and Minnesota Farm Bureau and to really tell your story. To Here are a few rules to send you back to your farms to tell your story. The first one is likely going to be very easy for you, particularly with the tools that you've been given here today, and that is simply to be authentic, be 100% you. And as you are doing that, please appeal to their hearts. Consider what's important to the people that you are trying to connect with and have a conversation with them at the heart level. Understand that farms are a novelty to many, so whether you're in a church conversation or on a Facebook conversation, what you do is novel. Always remember to play offense instead of defense, and please spend one hour once a week speaking out for agriculture. One hour once a week invested in standing up and telling the real story.